falling through the 40s as we head towards midnight. Stacy. We're following a developing story live at 6. More than 300 jobs will be lost in Ripon as ConAgra Foods announces plans to close its West Cookie plant. The news given to workers this morning shocking those in the small Fond du Lac County community. ConAgra says the facility will shut its doors by the end of the year. NBC26's Billy Wagness is live in Ripon tonight with community reaction. Stacy, Workers United Local Union 91 representatives say that the closure of this cookie plant here behind me in Ripon is slated to not only impact the 300 or so employees set to lose their jobs, they say it will also have much larger economic impacts on the city of Ripon and surrounding communities. Employees at the cookie plant were informed of ConAgra's decision through a series of on-site meetings this morning. There, they were told that the plant would begin laying off employees in a series of four waves. The first wave started in September all the way till the end of December with the cookie outlet store closing last. Employees say company spokespeople told them the closing was not a result of the work being done, but the amount of money ConAgra would need to invest in the plant to keep it operating. Workers United Local 91 Union President Jane Byer says they're worth the investment and are hoping to negotiate. The state of Wisconsin and the city of Ripon, if we can all get together and try to keep this work here rather than moving it you know, to another plant, that we think that would be great. Buyer says she's worried for the affected families. You know, the children and and with health insurance and all those kind of things, you know, trying to figure out what you do if the plant really does close. When we talk about a, a city like, like Ripon with about 8,000 people, you can figure out how dramatic this is, not only for our families, but by the local economy. Local 91 union representative Alex Gillis says they plan on fighting to keep the plant open, but that it will take collaboration with ConAgra. Stacy, union representatives and employees say they will have a chance to bring their concerns to ConAgra next week when they head in for previously scheduled contract negotiations. For now, live in Ripon, Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Thank you, Billy. A Nina family is safe tonight, but displaced from their home. They escaped unharmed after a fire started around 4 o'clock this morning. Crews say when they arrived, there were flames shooting out of the porch area. The father was able to get his wife and two kids out before firefighters arrived. The state fire marshal is searching for a cause tonight. A 50-year-old woman arrested in Oshkosh for prostitution. The woman, who is a Chinese citizen, was taken into custody at Four Seasons Massage on Friday. The undercover investigation started after complaints were received about the business. Oshkosh police were assisted by the Department of Homeland Security. It is a new approach to keep kids from getting in trouble. Summer of Service is a new program for at-risk teens. The hope is to help them graduate. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live in Appleton tonight with how that program works. Raquel? Stacy, I'm standing outside the Boys and Girls Club here in Appleton, which is one of the partners in this program. And they say that there is a lot of support drumming up among this community for this service. The city of Appleton trying something new. What I've seen is that you can have a huge impact when you work directly with these youth. The Boys and Girls Club partnering with the Appleton Police Department, area schools, and several other agencies for the new Summer of Service program. This really gives them a structured opportunity to really make great choices, make good connections with folks at the Boys and Girls Club, folks in the community. It's, it's a win-win for everybody. Summer of service is for teens between 10th and 12th grades. Once they fill out a simple application, they're set to do volunteer work and work with counselors who help get them on the right track. But there are plenty of kids in the Appleton area alone um, that are at risk of not graduating or are credit deficient in the schools. The programs not just work though. Kids have a chance to earn up to $200 or earn credits for high school and even use their community volunteer hours towards court ordered service requirements. It's a program that I worked with when I worked for the federal government prior to working uh, for the Appleton Police Department. A program officer Sean Keither says works and he hopes it'll help teens in Northeast Wisconsin too. Since this is the first year for the Summer of Service program, they're starting small. Just 30 kids from the Appleton area, which they say is filling up fast. But they hope to grow this throughout the Fox Cities in the coming years. Live in Appleton, Raquel Lamel, NBC 26. Thank you, Raquel. A new state report shows same-sex couples helped boost Wisconsin's marriage rate in 2014. The Department of Health Services says there were nearly 2,800 more marriages in the state than in 2013. 
The agency says the number of divorces dropped from nearly 16,000 in 2013 to just over 15,000 in 2014. As we head into summer, the Coast Guard is recommending boaters brush up on staying safe on the water. It's National Safe Boating Week. The Coast Guard encourages everyone in Wisconsin to check their life jackets and other equipment before heading out on the lake. And expert advice is available. We can especially help you with having the right equipment on your boat. Be sure you're prepared to have a safe and fun-filled boating season. You can request a safety check on the U.S. Department of Homeland Security website. There is a link on NBC26.com. Safety on the road, also a focus as the summer driving season gets underway. Police are ramping up a statewide seatbelt enforcement push called Click It or Ticket. Statistics from the DOT show 85% of Wisconsinites wear seatbelts. However, more than half of all drivers killed in crashes were not buckled up. There will be plenty of traffic this Memorial Day weekend. Tourism destinations are getting ready to welcome visitors, including a top attraction in Northeast Wisconsin. NBC 26's Stephanie Mead is live on the weather deck tonight with more. Stacy, businesses in Dora County are busy while making preparations to welcome thousands of visitors to opening weekend and beyond. Summer is just around the corner, and businesses in Wisconsin are gearing up for Memorial Day weekend. Businesses that are seasonal are opening up this week if they haven't if they haven't been open already for a couple of weeks and just getting ready to roll out the red carpet for a, another great summer season here. Wineries like Von Steel are ready for the rush of people, not only from the area but out of town tourists as well. It's just great. It feels like the summer is starting and the weather gets nicer and people are excited to come in. The Door County Visitor Bureau says tourism last year in Door County generated 34 million dollars in state and local taxes. And a lot of that has to do with the activities the area has to offer. Whether it's outdoor recreation, maybe it's fishing, maybe it's lighthouse touring, culinary stuff, the Door County Fish Boil, there's just so many wonderful things. John Jarsh says Door County ranked 8th out of 72 counties last year for tourism spending and has seen a steady six-year growth, which is expected to grow even more this year. Certainly with gas prices, with the way they're at, that's going to help people spend a little bit more while they're here. So that, that's very encouraging as well. And uh, just I think with uh, people are, are ready for, for some travel. So what are your plans this weekend? Maybe a trip will help you shake the winter blues away. According to the Door County Visitor Bureau, due to last year's high tourist season, they were able to add over 3,000 new jobs to the area. Live on the weather deck, Stephanie Mead, NBC 26. It's going to cost you more to travel by car this weekend. Nationally, the average price of gas has jumped 22 cents a gallon over the last three weeks. In northeast Wisconsin, the average price is around 265. That's still below the national average of 297. Higher oil prices and refinery interruptions are the main causes for the hike, according to AAA. Decision 2016 now on NBC 26. Governor Scott Walker on the road as he continues to test the presidential waters. Walker delivering a speech at the Children Policy Summit in New Orleans. From there, he heads to Washington, D.C. for a day of meetings tomorrow. Walker says he will announce a decision on a presidential run after the state budget is passed next month. Theta Care employees taking part in a special training today to better prepare themselves for emergency births. Using Fox Valley Technical College's OB simulators, the staff from the birthing center were able to go through real life emergency situations they may encounter. It feels very lifelike. They get very involved. They feel like it's a really real patient and that the emergency situation is very dire. And so for them, this is the best of both worlds where they can practice in a controlled environment, but yet it seems as real as possible. The training will also help the department develop best practices. Still ahead live at 6, a place to call home, a new facility to help find affordable housing for those who serve is set to open in northeast Wisconsin. Plus, a struggling but popular Milwaukee brewer is reassigned, the latest on second baseman Scooter Jeanette. And we had some heavy hit or miss thunderstorms yesterday. If you missed out, is there another chance for some more rain anytime soon? I'll have your 10-day forecast coming up next. NBC 26 Live at 6 with Stacey Engabretson, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, and Sports with Dan Koob. This is NBC 26 Live at 6. 
Right now, shop Steinhoffel's biggest Memorial Day sale ever. Save 35 to 70% store wide. Steinhoffel's is your solid wood headquarters. All solid wood bedroom and dining sets are on sale. Save 46% on this special purchase sofa, now just $4.99. And take advantage of 0% financing for 48 months. So shop Steinhoffel's first during our biggest Memorial Day sale ever. And start your summer with incredible savings. We're building a better world at Time Warner Cable. You must be Steven. What are we watching? We're going to go do homework. A world where everyone can watch what they want, where they want. Oh, hey, Steve, right? With nine platforms and counting. He's a keeper. Only Time Warner Cable gives you more content on more devices. So there's always somewhere to watch what you love. Whatever you're passionate about, Time Warner Cable invents better ways to love it even more. With an offer like this, there's never been a better time to switch. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. It's Yonkers Ultimate Mattress Sale, now through Tuesday, May 19th. Get the lowest prices of the season. Save 55%, plus an extra 10% on our most popular beauty rest and new Sealy mattresses. Also save on all luxury and specialty bedding, plus take an extra 10% off. And get special factory savings of up to $1,300 on many luxury and specialty mattresses. Ask about our buy now, take 48 months to pay financing plan. Now through Tuesday, Yonkers. Roll up a sleeve and help save lives at the Green Bay Packers Blood Drive with the American Red Cross and NBC26. Join us Tuesday, May 26th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Lambeau Field. Make an appointment today by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS or visiting redcrossblood.org. Now, covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, after highs in the 70s over the weekend, we started to cool down today, and we will really feel that coolness in the air tomorrow. High temperatures will only be in the lower to mid 50s. That's a good 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. But after that, we will start to warm up again. We'll see mid 60s on Wednesday, upper 60s to around 70 on Thursday and Friday. And then just in time for the weekend, temperatures will climb back up into the 70s. So the big story today, obviously the cool down. Temperatures this afternoon running 10 to 15 to 25 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday when temperatures were mainly in the 70s. Right now we are looking at 50s. 54 degrees in Appleton with a westerly wind at around 16 miles per hour. In Green Bay it is cloudy and 55. Winds have been gusting up to around 30 miles per hour. And look at that dew point. Yesterday our first taste of summer-like humidity. Dew points getting up into the 60s. This evening, dew points have dropped back down into the 30s, and that is much more comfortable. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows quiet conditions across central and eastern Wisconsin right now. But we do have some rain showers across the northwestern part of the state, and even some snow showers across northern Minnesota up into southwestern Ontario. And it's not out of the question that we could see a couple of snowflakes across the far north later on tonight as a trough of low pressure moves in from Minnesota and western Wisconsin. So we had a strong cold front move through late last night. Behind that cold front, much colder air and some gusty winds. And now we've got this trough of low pressure moving in, and that'll be our main weather maker throughout the night into tomorrow. Underneath that trough of low pressure, it is cloudy and it is chilly. While it was 63 degrees in Green Bay this afternoon, it was only 47 in Minneapolis, 38 in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We had mid-30s in International Falls with a mixture of some rain and some snow. We are not going to see high temperatures that cool, but it is going to be quite chilly as we head through tomorrow. Now, speaking of quite chilly, off to our north and west, we've got freeze warnings and some frost advisories here for Minnesota, North and South Dakota. There's nothing going on right now across the northeastern part of Wisconsin. But tomorrow night, it'll be a different story. It looks like we are going to see a widespread frost or freeze across much of the state as we head through tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. High temperatures tomorrow should typically be in the mid to upper 60s. We're going to be looking at lower to mid to upper 50s across the area. Tomorrow night, chilly conditions. Overnight lows will be in the 20s and 30s. And then for Wednesday afternoon, beautiful, lots of sunshine. 
back up into the mid 60s. Precision cast shows cloudy skies for the rest of tonight. We'll still see a lot of clouds around tomorrow morning, and then the clouds will slowly break up as we head into the afternoon. So tonight, mostly cloudy and breezy. Overnight lows will be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Tomorrow, breezy and cool. Abundant cloud cover in the morning, and then slowly decreasing clouds as we move into the afternoon. Look for a high temperature only around 56 degrees. Some frosty conditions Wednesday morning, 32 up to 65 by the afternoon, and then just beautiful for Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny skies. Highs will be in the upper 60s. That warming trend continues into Saturday. Lower 70s on Sunday. A chance for a thunderstorm. And it wouldn't be Memorial Day weekend without the chance for some rain. A soaking rain potentially on Monday. Hopefully we can change that, Stacy. It's still a week away, but right now, Monday is not looking to be the best of all holidays. And then after that, we'll start to warm up again, back up into the 70s as we unofficially head into summer. Right. It's par for the course, so you have to get that rain chance in there for Memorial Day. There's always get. one day that's, you know, <laughs> know, better spent inside than, you know, outside. Right. Still looks pretty decent, though. Yeah. Still ahead tonight, live at 6, honoring the master.